welcome back, everybody. This is Whiskey Happens. Uh, I've got Gary Johnson, Bradley nope. Booth. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and uh, this episode, Maybe. we are talking about budget bourbon. And so what we're going to go through is, this is going to be a series. We're going to start out with 20 and below, and for Brad, 20 euro and below. Um, but we're going to do 20, 30, 40, and 50. What you can get um, in each region, since Brad's in Germany, I'm in Texas, Gary's in Virginia. We're going to try some different things. We're going to see what's out there. And um, Garrett, kick it off. Kick us off. Well, I didn't know I was going to go first, but yeah, I will. <laughs> it's actually, this is not allocated whatsoever. It's Fighting Cock. I believe it has another nickname of Cluckin' and Duckin' or some shit like that. Um, but Fighting Cock is Heaven Hill's response to Wild Turkey 101. Um, hence the name, the Fighting Cock against the Wild Turkey. That's good. I like it. I like it. I like what this they did coming there. in at 103 proof. I did notice, I picked up this bottle recently. Um on sale, it is normally under twenty dollars, but I got this for seventeen or sixteen dollars. I enjoy this one immensely, uh, Brad. You will be happy to know that this isn't a fucking Coke. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I like the mug, though. I like the mug too. I like the uh, mug. love Reese's to pieces, sir. Love the Reese's to pieces. <laughs> That's awesome. But it's definitely one of those drinks, or I'm sorry, bourbons, to where. Uh, even though it's 103 proof, I feel like you could sip on this all day and your kids could still have a sleepover and you're still not worried about exposing yourself in the living room thing and it's a toilet. Like, it's just smooth sailing. Uh, on its own is not bad as well. There's a lot of sweet uh, orange, citrus uh, flavors, maybe even a tad bit dark stone fruits. But... For under $20, if it's not going to be Evan Williams, I'm definitely getting the fighting cock. Awesome. Very good. <laughs> I don't know. Every time. Uh, yeah, every time. It's too much time. fighting cock. It's too much fighting cock. You know me. I love the high. What do you call it, Brad? The, the high test, man. I did yeah, the high I test, love but... the high test. And uh, 103 is just, it does it for me. Yep. All day. I mean, the, I 103 is not bad. I would say that that's not super high test. I think high test for me is you know, 110, 120, 130. That's that's the crazy stuff that I just I just can't do. But where did you find that bottle? Did you find that locally, or did, did yeah, just... locally? It's readily available here in Virginia. I've never gone to purchase it in DC, but I imagine it can't be that hard to find. <laughs> Used to when I first started drinking Fighting Cock, it had an age statement. And I looked at the bottle again, and I don't know what happened or what changed, but there definitely isn't. It used to be a six-year-old bourbon, and now it's nondescript. So yeah, we that, that would have been my first, that would have been my second question uh, was was there an age statement on there? Because with some of these lower bourbons, I guess you know they don't, they're not putting an age statement on there. They don't have to, um, but I. That's why I was wondering what would age statement on that would be. So you're saying they're printing the bottles now without it or without it. All right, Travis, sending it right back your direction. All right. So I picked up, um, I went out and picked up, there's a bunch of different things that you can pick up for under 20 bucks. I mean, there's, you know, a lot out there, especially in Texas. Um, but I had never heard of this one. It's hogs three. So this is Kentucky straight. Uh, bourbon whiskey um, aged over three years. It's 80 proof, not very high test at all on this. Um, it is aged in white uh, oak barrels, American white oak barrels. So they've gone a long way with aging this and really doing a good job. Not a fan. Uh, it, is it, it a newer distillery? I actually have never seen that before. No, this is a this is Hogs Bourbon from John Edwards. So I was looking too. I was like, well, who? Because normally, you know, most things now, Sazerac owns or so, someone owns, and this is their own distillery by themselves um, out in Kentucky. You know, it's not bad. It's aged three years, so still super young. Um, 
it might get better. Definitely not something I'm drinking straight. Um, I'm not drinking this one neat. I am uh, with a Coke. Well, I didn't put it in a Coke, but I put it over ice. It's still okay. It's just, it doesn't have much of a flavor profile. It's pretty bland. Um, it's real, real. I would say if you were getting into bourbon and you hadn't had a lot of bourbon, this actually might be something good for you to start out with because it's not going to hit you in the face in the front or in the back. So it's, it's got kind of that even smoothness across the whole board, which is great if, you know, you're not really into bourbon. So um, I definitely think it's something that getting into bourbon, wanting something on the lower price scale, it was $18.99. Um, this one comes in at 80 proof. So if you- 80. 80. All right. I definitely. thought it was going to be a little higher. Okay. No, it's definitely much, much lower. So, um, and you can tell by the color, if you look at the color of this, it's very light. It's not well, dark then. at all. It's a very, yeah. you know, um, light hue in that. I don't know how much you can see it, but um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it's not my favorite. It's not something that I'm going to sit here and, you know, hip hip hooray and chant about, but at the same time, it's something that I will probably put in my rotation of mixers. So when people come <laughs> over and you want to make a mixed drink. Uh, it's it's the cigars I give away, right? It's the yeah, it's it's the one. Hey, try this. This is what you. Want well, to it's not even with. that. It's more <laughs> of like you want an old fashioned. Sure, I'll make it with this. Okay. Like, uh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Right, yeah, I'll yeah, make you an old fashioned. Sure, sure, sure. I'm not going to use something like one of my good top shelf with. Sure. Who's it a distiller? Well, it is Hogs Bourbon. John Edwards Hogs Bourbon. So yeah, like I don't know. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Yeah. The next thing I ABC store and see if I hate it as much as you do. Actually, well, I mean, not, it's yeah. not that I hate it. I mean, I'm sipping on it right now. It's fine. It's just, it's, it's not something I'm going to sit here and go when my friends come over, or when you guys come over, I'm going to go, Hey, I'm pulling this bad boy out. We're going to have some drinks tonight. No, no, right. No, but no. it's definitely something that if I've got people over and we want some mixed drinks or we want to do an old fashioned I'll throw it in there. That, that, I mean, that's the, the that's the tough part. Like a twenty dollar bottle. I mean, that's what uh, you're you're talking. You know, that's that's a tough price point. You know, is it going to be good? Is it going to be? I'm sure there's twenty dollar bottles out there that are good. I don't I don't know what they are. Evan um, Williams bottle yeah, and bond. I've said this is day Evan one. Williams bottle and bond. I didn't want to bring it up on this episode. I could have gone out and got that. That's on my shelf. That is, if you want a bottle, it's under twenty bucks. You go out and you get Evan Williams bottle and bottle. See, I, I might and see, I might be able to find that here. Uh, or I should have prefaced this is that obviously I've already said Evan Williams is my all day every day. Yep. Uh, cheap fucking bourbon. Um, however, I think fighting cock is something that people should have on their radar, and that's why I'm introducing it here. To not do the mirror thing. It's all right. It's okay. It's my. I got bad vision. People do all this know. weird shit yeah. to get it appear on camera. Um, yeah. <laughs> And then H and H, Brad, your 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 bad boy. H &H, oh well, that is coming. That is becoming. Yeah. I know it's not the one you talk about normally, but yeah. H and H, I can get here now in Texas has become very rarely available. I've tried it now. It it it's good. I mean, for under twenty bucks, the, it's good. the best plastic I mean, bottle you can buy. The the yeah. best plastic bottle that you yeah. that you can buy. Can you can you get that in the ABC Gary on the bottom shelf there in the yep. ABC? Yeah, bottom shelf. Uh, uh, for, for me, though, uh, as usual, I have something very big to show off for, for my 20 euro and under. I How a, big is it? That's a very, <laughs> very big bottle. Very big bottle that I have here. Right here. Real oh, big. Yeah. Bottle. Yeah. Uh, as usual, I failed this assignment, uh, but that's 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 my daily life failing in assignments. Uh, but uh, this bottle here, it's the local bottle. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's uh, Old Town Whiskey uh, from uh, here in Germany, Dresden. Uh, this is a single malt Saxon whiskey. Um, and inside the card, it talks about it, uh, but it's all in German. So you're not going to get oh, a man, whole lot of Those Europeans, um, they do the best job just telling yeah. the story. Nine. Uh, it, it was <laughs> distilled nine. It was distilled in 2017. It's a single malt Saxon whiskey. Couldn't tell you what any of that means. There's no alcohol statement on here. There's no age statement on here. There's nothing. I mean, it's four. It's um, at least four years. So that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I got. There's nothing on here that I can 
discern at all. It's local. It was gifted to me uh, by a friend at Christmas time. I've kept it on the shelf and uh, I thought, well, this would be the best episode ever because I'm sure it was under $20. It looks good. I'm going to try it right here and open it up. Oh, straight and, up. Uh, Don't even pour it in a glass. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> straight out of the bottle. Yeah, straight out of the bottle. Uh, it smells uh, like fucking pine needles and craziness, but I'm going to do it uh, and probably hate my life later. But, yeah, it um, can't be any worse than what you drank on our last episode. So. I guess that's <laughs> true. I, but that was that was good, too, though. Oh, that's actually not bad. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's terrible. I can't believe that. Um yeah, that the nose is not my favorite at all. Um, but there's nothing harsh there at all. Once if again, you just had like, to go on a proof spectrum, let's say within 10. Within 10. Uh, where do you think it's sitting? Oh, I would uh well clearly it's not my high test that I, you know, not a fan of. Um, but I would give it, I mean, so what's it, Hey, pull the light. Let's see. Let me see. I mean, it. so they're big into just 80 proof, yeah. right? So like the, the, the Europeans are big into 80 proof, anything over, they get all scared and jittery about in my opinion. So, I mean, you can see that's a little light, right? Yeah. Um, it's not hanging on the glass at all. You know, it's, 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 it's super light. So I give it, I get it 80 proof. I mean, like that, that's what they do here. I mean, it's, I'm it's really, it's really, really, really like it's really it. not bad. I, no, I, I'm 110%. We obviously talked about this even before we started recording. Uh, I said this is not going to be anything great. Um, and I could actually drink this all day long. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, that's great. I'm, I love seeing the fact that we've got some things coming from all over the different states and different areas. So that's what it's all about. I, I definitely keep my eye out. And uh, yeah. if I see something else, I mean, like I completely surprised. Um, it, it surprised me. It shocked me. Uh, that's not some fake shit that I did. Um, if it was garbage, I would obviously say that that was garbage. And you two know that I would call off the fucking garbage. Well, uh, then Merry so Christmas. Merry yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> man, am I, man, am I an asshole for not uh, saying anything to my friend earlier about this? A little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <A little> bit. <laughs> So, so that was three budget bourbons and or whiskeys under 20 US dollars or 20 euros. If you guys have stuck around this long, we got something for you. And Travis yeah. is going to give the details. Yeah. So um, we're doing a bottle giveaway. So um, what we're giving away actually is a really amazing bottle. It is Eagle Rare. Um, we are doing a bottle giveaway for Eagle Rare. If you haven't had it or if you, if you have had it. It's amazing. Uh, every each one of us love it. It's number two we, on the list. Yep, things that we love drinking. Um, so we're giving it away. All you have to do is um, subscribe below. Hit that subscribe button. Also comment on um, you know in the comments below. Post your uh, comment. You know, say tell us what your favorite budget bourbon is under twenty dollars in the comments. Right. Right. Yeah. I need, I need, yeah, I need all go. the help I can get. I need all the help I can get. There That's you. true. That's good. What's your bub- budget bourbon? So that'd be good. Gary, why don't you uh, take us home? You know what? I would love to, because I don't think I guys told you that I am actually enjoying a mixed drink in my Reese's cup. Oh, the Reese's is cup. fighting cock and Coke. No, it's not. Shut your mouth. Did you not? Your- Shit, no, it's not. not. It's not Coke. Shut Has been mouth. this whole time. No, you're lying to me, and you. Know and you I mentioned this anger. because you want to anger me. You want to anger me. That's what it is. Not at all. <laughs> Cock was meant for mixing. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you like it meat or on the rocks or in my motherfucking Coke. Oh. Whiskey happens, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. See you guys.